Hi, this is Andrew with Infinity Cutting Tools. Today we're going to take a look at our panel door templates and how to choose the correct size template to make different width of panel doors. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at these templates and I'll show you how I choose the correct size template for whatever project I'm working on. Our panel door templates come in four different profiles. A crown profile, a classical profile, a colonial profile, and a traditional profile. So you're going to have a set of templates that will give you the whatever look you're going for for your next cabinet door project. Each of these templates comes in a set of 20, which means you're going to get 10 top rail templates and 10 panel templates. They're going to give you the ability to make doors ranging in size roughly from about 9.5 to 10 inches wide all the way up to 22 to 24 inches wide, depending on the width of your side rails that you choose to make your cabinet door with. One of the biggest questions we have when it comes time to using these templates is how do I choose the correct size template for my cabinet door? Do I measure the overall width of the door and use the measurements on the templates? Do I measure the panel? How do I choose the correct template? This is very easy and straightforward to do. The measurements on the panels typically refer to the general size of either the width of the panel or the width of the top rail when you're making your cabinet door. The easiest way to determine if the template you've chosen is the correct size is to simply take your blank of material for your top rail. Remember, making your top rail and frame pieces are exactly the same method as making one for a standard rectangular or square cabinet door. Once I have this piece to the right width, I can determine how tall this piece needs to be. In the case of one of these templates, you want to make sure that your piece is roughly the same height as the overall height of the template. In this case, it would be roughly 4 inches. Once I've determined the correct height, I have a rectangular piece for my top rail that is the correct size. Now I can determine which template is going to produce the correct profile for this top rail. I simply take my template and lay it over top of my piece of material. What I'm looking for is that I get a full profile from edge to edge of my top rail. If I was using a template that was too small, I would have an edge on either side that would not line up and I would just get an undersized profile. If I were using a template that was too large, I would have excessive amounts of profile on either side of my top rail. And as a result, I would get a reduction in the amount of profile that I'm getting in my piece. So I would like to use the smallest template that I can and still get a full profile. That's the easiest way to choose your templates and you're always going to choose the right template for your project. If you're excited to make beautiful cabinet doors using our panel door templates, be sure to check out our complete step-by-step -step instructions for these templates on our website. They're going to give you all the information you need to get perfect results every time. If for some reason you still have questions, feel free to send us an email or give us a call. We'll be happy to help answer any of those questions.